Okay guys, I know I've talked about this one before. This is uh, the Honeywell mixing valve that I have in here. You can't read that with this stupid camera. But it's uh, 80 to 120 Fahrenheit. And it is this valve in question right here. Okay, and these fittings are absolutely terrible. You can crank the bejeebus out of these fittings and you're still going to get slow drip leaks on these things now the biggest problem with this is it only goes to 120 Fahrenheit besides the leaks so your wife will not be pleased if she's hand washing dishes with this okay here's the solution this is a Watts mixing valve you got your cold in your hot in and your mix out on the top and it's adjustable from I believe 100 or something like that to 160 Fahrenheit and it's uh, there's a number on here EDP 0215462 and it's a half inch 70 AF hot water extender tempering valve and you have to have one of these valves on your solar setup because the water that comes out of your solar tank especially in the summertime is going to be over 180 Fahrenheit uh, supplying the tank, your existing hot water tank, which is this uh, Smart Water GE unit. It's set for 140 Fahrenheit, but when the solar tank is supplying it with 180, you're getting 180 into this tank, and you're getting 180 out, and that's going to get cooled down with this tempering valve. So that's the way it works. Uh, I've talked about this one before, and I just got it in tonight here, so it uh, seems to be working well. I've got it on the maximum setting which is 160 so uh, everybody should be happy now with this this is where you get it from pecsupply.com their SKU, it's hard to read here uh, 0215462 and it's a half inch 70A-F sweat tempering valve and you can find that on pecs.com so you can look it up there it's about 35 bucks I believe it was